the Wild West, also known as the American Frontier, or Old West, was a period of American history that stretched from the early 1800s to the late 1800s. It is a time period often romanticized in popular culture, with images of cowboys, gunslingers, and saloons dominating our perception. But what was it really like to live in the Wild West? And what was it like being wanted in the Wild West? Let's find out! In the Wild West, life was a theater of survival where the price of a wrong step was often lethal. If you've ever come across a Hollywood Western, you might have seen the raw, untamed landscape strewn with lifeless bodies and townsfolk living in constant terror, their hearts pounding in their chests, their lives hanging by a thread in a lawless world. It paints a picture of a time and place where everyone was forced to flee, a world where safety was a luxury few could afford. According to Terry Anderson, Professor Emeritus of Economics at Montana State University, these movies tend to exaggerate the relentless violence of the Wild West. Sure, there were bullets and standoffs, but there were also numerous instances of disputes being settled civilly through dialogue and mutual understanding, a far cry from the gun-blazing showdowns we see on screen. However, let's not sugarcoat the reality. Life in the Wild West was not peaceful at all. It was a period marked by fear and uncertainty, a time when a simple disagreement could escalate into a deadly confrontation. Research from Ohio State University's Criminal Justice Research Center gives us a chilling perspective on this. Residents of Dodge City had a 1 in 61 chance of meeting a violent end between 1876 and 1885 with a staggering homicide rate of around 165 per 100,000. The threat of a violent death was an all-too-real specter that haunted the daily lives of those in the Wild West. Reaching the Wild West was a feat in itself. Before you could even dream of survival within its rugged, unforgiving terrain, you had to traverse the Oregon Trail, a journey that all too often ended in tragedy. Between the 1840s and 1860s, a staggering 300,000 to 400,000 brave souls embarked on this hazardous journey, their dreams of a better life pushing them forward. Heartbreakingly, for one in ten of these pioneers, the Wild West remained a dream, their lives cruelly snatched away before they could set foot in their promised land. Death along the Oregon Trail was a grim lottery, the causes of death were as varied as they were unpredictable. Some met their end by succumbing to brutal weather conditions. Others were claimed by disease, their immune systems unable to keep up with the harsh conditions of the journey. Accidents, too, were a common demise, with the threat of a fatal fall or crushing ever present. Even the animals, so vital for transportation and survival, posed a risk, with stampedes and riding accidents leading to numerous fatalities. But the threats didn't end there. The trail was rife with dangers that lurked around every corner, from deadly rattlesnake bites to the dread of being crushed under the wheels of your own wagon. Each day was a duel with death, a testing game of survival. It was a journey that asked everything of you, and for some, the price was the ultimate sacrifice. And yet, the dream of the Wild West compelled them to face these risks. Crimes in the Wild West are as varied as the landscape itself. Every day presented a new tableau of lawlessness. These crimes formed the fabric of daily life and were as intrinsic to the Wild West experience as the arid landscapes and the relentless thirst for gold. It was a world of disorderly conduct, concealed weapons, and assaults, where vagrancy and drunkenness were commonplace. In the gritty reality of the Wild West, misdemeanors were just the tip of the iceberg. The lawless terrain gave way to more severe crimes, trespassing, bribery, aggravated assaults, manslaughter, and fraud were minor felonies that frequented the docket. But the darkness didn't stop there. The Wild West also bore witness to major felonies, crimes that left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Robbery, rustling, assaults with deadly weapons, arson, and attempted murder were the order of the day. Hanging offenses were a stark reminder of the brutal world that was the Wild West. Murder, cheating at cards, horse theft, and the selling of whiskey and guns to Native Americans were offenses that carried the most severe penalty, the end of a rope. 
the dread of the noose was a haunting presence, a shadow that loomed large over the towns and saloons of the Wild West. Moreover, guilt by association was a perilous reality, ensnaring those who had the misfortune of being linked to the criminals. This facet of the law could easily spawn a new breed of vigilantes or bounty hunters fueled by the urgent need for safety and justice. Most of the crimes in the Wild West didn't find their way to proper justice. Instead, they were often dealt with by vigilante mobs, who would take matters into their own hands, acting as judge, jury, and executioner in a swift and brutal fashion. The lawmen, who were tasked with maintaining order and carrying out justice, were sparse and scattered, with sometimes over a hundred miles separating one from another. Take the case of Bill Longley in 1878. Longley was a notorious outlaw in Texas, known for his despicable deeds and blatant disregard for human life. A group of vigilantes caught him for being a horse thief and was swiftly sentenced to die by the lynch mob. As the vigilantes rode away, they took one last shot at Longley. The shot missed its mark, but the bullet's impact weakened the rope from which Longley was hanging. As the rope snapped, Longley was released from his death throes, coming crashing to the ground. He went on to further his murderous spree until he was finally executed later that year. Being a criminal offender in the Wild West was like having a ticking time bomb strapped to your chest. You were constantly at risk of being lynched on the spot by vigilante justice. Worryingly, mere accusations, even unfounded ones, could result in swift and brutal consequences. It was a wild, lawless world where the line between guilt and innocence could blur and disappear in the blink of an eye. Life as a wanted person in the Wild West was an unforgiving, relentless existence. Every moment was fraught with danger, the specter of death a constant companion. You were forever on your guard, looking over your shoulder, anticipating the moment when the noose would find its way around your neck. Survival was the name of the game, and every day you managed to evade justice was a victory. So, the Wild West wasn't just about exploration and adventure, it was also a world of crime and punishment. The dreams of wealth, freedom, and a better life came with a heavy price tag, the risk of losing everything. Life in the Wild West was a high-stakes game, where survival was never guaranteed. It was a world that tested the limits of human endurance and pushed people to their breaking point. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, let us know in the comments if you want to see more videos on similar topics. Goodbye until next time. Yeehaw!